Hey booktube, it's Mickey. Um, I'm coming to you guys today with a Poetry Thursday. Um, I've never done this before and I'm actually not that used to talking about poetry. But I really want to get into reading more poetry and I think that this might be a good way to do it. You know, presenting one poem a week which I may or may not be able to keep up doing, I don't know. But I definitely would like to do it this week. Um, the poem that I'm actually going to try and do today is a poem that I am familiar with and have taught a couple of times in a class. So I guess I feel kind of okay talking about this poem. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and get into it, and you guys can let me know what you think. So here goes. Girl by Jamaica Kincaid. Wash the white clothes on Monday and put them on the stone heap. Wash the colored clothes on Tuesday and put them on the clothesline to dry. Don't walk barehead in the hot sun. Cook pumpkin fritters in very hot sweet oil. Soak your little cloths right after you take them off. When buying cotton to make yourself a nice blouse, be sure that it doesn't have gum on it because that way it won't hold up well after a wash. Soak salt fish overnight before you cook it. Is it true that you sing Benna in Sunday school? Always eat your food in such a way that it won't turn someone else's stomach. On Sundays, try to walk like a lady and not like the slut you are so bent on becoming. Don't sing Benna in Sunday school. You mustn't speak to wharf rat boys, not even to give directions. Don't eat fruits on the street. Flies will follow you. But I don't sing Benna on Sunday at all and never in Sunday school. This is how you sew on a button. This is how to make a buttonhole for the button you have just sewed on. This is how to hem a dress when you see the hem coming down and sew to prevent yourself from looking like the slut I know you are so bent on becoming. This is how you iron your father's khaki shirt so that it doesn't have a crease. This is how you iron your father's khaki pants so that they don't have a crease. This is how you grow okra, far from the house because okra tree harbors red ants. When you are growing dashin, make sure it gets plenty of water or else it makes your throat itch when you are eating it. This is how you sweep a corner. This is how you sweep a whole house. This is how you sweep a yard. This is how you smile to someone you don't like too much. This is how you smile to someone you don't like at all. This is how you smile to someone you like completely. This is how you set a table for tea. This is how you set a table for dinner. This is how you set a table for dinner with an important guest. This is how you set a table for lunch. This is how you set a table for breakfast. This is how to behave in the presence of men who don't know you very well, and this way they won't recognize immediately the slut I have warned you against becoming. Be sure to wash every day, even if it, even if it is with your own spit. Don't squat down to play marbles. You are not a boy, you know. Don't pick people's flowers. You might catch something. Don't throw stones at blackbirds, because it might not be a blackbird at all. This is how to make a bread pudding. This is how to make dukana. This is how to make pepper pot. This is how to make a good medicine for a cold. This is how to make a good medicine to throw away a child before it even becomes a child. This is how to catch a fish. This is how to throw back a fish you don't like, and that way something bad won't fall on you. This is how to bully a man. This is how a man bullies you. This is how to love a man, and if this doesn't work, there are other ways, and if they don't work, don't feel too bad about giving up. This is how to spit up in the air if you feel like it, and this is how to move quick so that it doesn't fall on you. This is how to make ends meet. Always squeeze bread to make sure it's fresh. But what if the baker won't let me feel the bread? You mean to say after all, you are really going to be the kind of woman who the baker won't let near the bread? Then, so I really love this poem and I teach it in my class because it's a poem that I feel um, shows a lot about how you a speaker can tell you more about themselves when they're talking to someone else. Um, I think the speaker in this poem is a woman who has been oppressed by poverty and stifling gender roles. Um, you get the impression from the fact that um they you know all of the a lot of the advice that she gives to to the girl are very domestic and the it's very domesticated 
they it's a family that you know grows their own food and hems their own clothing and things of that sort which suggests that they're probably poor um jamaica kincaid the writer of this poem is from the british west indies and she grew up poor and so it is very likely that that's the same case for our speaker um and she also had a really hard relationship with her mother um the mother in this piece the speaker i just feel like she's kind of just she's kind of a hard ass and she's a person who isn't sugarcoating things for her daughter she wants her daughter to understand that these are the things that are really expected of you in life and if you don't do them you'll be labeled a certain way i think this is kind of like a example of tough love she wants to instill these things into her so that she won't make these mistakes and end up um having other people so she calls her a slut so that she will want to prove her wrong and don't end up um actually becoming one and having other people look down on her uh there's a lot of tender moments to me i think moments where i feel like the mother tried to um be a little less harsh in her um in her advice it's definitely closer to the end for me um there's just like things like the line um this is how to spit up in the air if you feel like it and this is how to move quick so that it doesn't fall on you you know that's a fun playful sort of thing an idea of how you if you get to a point where you're fed up with something here's a way that you can get that out and here's a way that you can kind of get away with it also and um that's kind of different from the advice that she's been giving her before and the same thing comes with the uh, don't throw stones at blackbirds because it might not be a blackbird at all um again that's a really good advice the idea that you know people don't always appear the way that they seem and so be careful about you know who you turn away and who you throw away because some people aren't as bad as they seem and i really like that and she i think she recognizes that her daughter will make some mistakes and so she gives her advice about how to fix some of them I think that the poem is really self-reflexive. Um, I think most of the time the speaker is not really talking to her daughter and she's actually talking to herself and she's reflecting on her own mistakes and her own things that she's done herself. Um, after all, she constantly keeps accusing um, the daughter of singing Benna in Sunday school, which is a form of Calypso music, form of uh, Caribbean secular music. And, you know, the girl insists, and if we believe what she says, you know, the girl insists, I, I don't sing Benna in Sunday school. So who's the mother really talking to? Who is she really accusing of doing that in the poem? I think it might be her own self. She's only kind of reflecting on some things that she herself has done. And I think you can really tell that how um, that this poem might be more about the speaker than it is the person who she's talking to in the end, when after everything that she says, she says, you mean to say that after all, you are really going to be the kind of woman who the baker won't let near the bread? If she really believed that her daughter was, you know, so bent on becoming a slut, if she really believed that this was some weird inevitabil inevitability that she's trying to permit, trying to prevent, I don't know if she would be so shocked at the end to have the daughter come back to her and say, well, what if the baker doesn't let me near the bread? What if I'm not the, what if I don't turn out to be the woman that you want me to be? And I think the mother is sort of like, you know, of course you will. Like, why wouldn't you? I think it's, it's, it shows that I don't think she has as much lack of faith in her that it seems to show previously in the poem. So, um, yeah, I don't know. This is so awkward for me. But yeah, so that's the poem Girl by Jamaica Kincaid. Uh, let me know if you guys have heard this poem before, if you have any thoughts on it, and I'm going to end this video now because it's making me so nervous, but um, let me know how you enjoyed the video, and if you've done any Poetry Thursdays, please click them below, I'm always looking for new poems to read, and I will talk to you later, booktube, bye!